This is my first video of 2023 and might be the most important one I make all year. The job market is competitive right now, so it's more important than ever to stand out and use a winning strategy. If your strategy is to just turn on the LinkedIn open to work banner, send your resume to tons of companies and hope someone hires you, it's pretty unlikely that things will go well. You'll have to search for a long time, and whatever job you do get probably won't be as good as what you could have gotten with a better strategy. I'm sure you don't want that, and I definitely don't want that for you. So in this video, we are going to cover five winning strategies to level up your career in 2023. If you're hoping to move up your career at any point over the next 12 months, this is what you should do. These strategies will work for any industry and will be equally effective whether you're using English or Korean. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you should do is get very clear on your unique selling points. Too many people just turn on the open to work banner, say they're looking for opportunities and expect tons of jobs to come their way. You have to give companies a reason to hire you. Focus less on what you want and more on the value you offer. These selling points should fill every part of your job search. These should be in your resume, cover letters, and LinkedIn profile, as well as what you mostly talk about in your job interviews. This value needs to be specific for the roles that you want. So before you send a single application, do some research. Look at several example job posts for roles you would be interested in. Look at the skills and qualifications they want and ask yourself, what experiences or achievements do I have that prove I have these skills? Your biggest selling point will be your job specific results and achievements. When you explain these, try to give numbers. Anyone can say things like, I'm a strong communicator or a motivated problem solver. What's going to make you stand out is giving results proving you're a strong communicator or motivated problem solver. For example, saying something like this, I collaborated with 12 regional marketing teams across 15 countries to oversee the global promotion for our new smart TV. I kept each team totally informed about the global strategy and gave them all the support they needed. I also shared their local strategies with our headquarters so everyone involved was on the same page. As a result, this was our biggest smart product launch in the company history, surpassing our global sales goals by 15%. Much better than just saying, I'm a good communicator. However, your value is more than just your achievements. Companies also wanna hire good people that will fit their culture. So beyond your skills, also show a strong passion and a great attitude. Don't just say I'm passionate about my industry because anyone can say that. That's not very unique. Focus on the specific impact of your work that you're most passionate about or why you're passionate about your industry. Using myself as an example, I could say something like this. I believe Koreans are some of the hardest working, kindest people I've ever met and deserve jobs where they feel appreciated. I'm passionate about helping people show their value in job searches so they can unlock life-changing opportunities and reach their full career potential. That's a lot more interesting than just saying, I'm passionate about teaching. Industry-specific accomplishments plus passion and attitude proving you're a good cultural fit will equal you standing out. Once you're clear on your selling points, my second tip is to start early. People who are going to get great job offers in April, May, and June have already started networking. They're already following recruiters and companies on LinkedIn, connecting with other professionals in their industry, and laying the foundation for a successful job hunt. When these people apply in February or March, they're going to have a much easier time getting interviews because people already know them. If you want to maximize your chances of getting the best job possible, start the process at least six months in advance. Make hundreds of connections on LinkedIn, follow companies you're interested in, comment on their posts, 
Build relationships so you're not just another random resume a recruiter skims for 10 seconds. Beyond networking, also plan early for any licenses or certifications you would need. This is especially important for anyone hoping to go abroad. Make sure you fulfill the visa requirements to work there. I had a great interview with Keith Halperin a few months ago. Keith is a senior recruiter with over 25 years of experience recruiting for companies in Silicon Valley. He told me that visa regulations can slow down or even ruin a lot of candidates' chances. So if you're hoping to go abroad, do your visa research, get any certifications that will make you an appealing candidate, and start networking early. If you don't start your job search until you really need a job, it's going to be a lot harder and more stressful than it needs to be. The third tip we've already talked about a little bit, but you have to do more than just sending in your resume. If you want something that most people have, you need to do things that most people don't do. For example, let's say there's a great job opening at a competitive international company. 250 people apply. Of those 250, 150 have really well-written resumes, 100 have well-written resumes with a great LinkedIn profile, 40 have the resume and profile, plus a unique cover letter showing why they're the best fit for that position. 20 people have all of this and also sent some great networking messages to the recruiting team, and five have done all of the above but started networking months in advance. They have multiple connections at the company, built those relationships over time, and just finished a course where they learned more about the job-specific skills they need to stand out. It is highly likely that one of those five people will be who the company hires. If not one of those five, then they're probably gonna hire one of the 20 from the earlier group. If you want to stand out from your competition, you have to do what they're not doing. So show your value and do more, but also be open to any good opportunities. I've heard so many Koreans talk about how their dream is to work at a big tech company like Google, Microsoft, or Apple. I get it, the pay and work cultures seem great. Those companies are famous, it would be really cool to tell people you work there. However, there are thousands of other companies that could likely provide just as good of a work culture, salary, and growth opportunities. In fact, I'd argue that many startups can provide even more career development because you would make a bigger impact on the company and you could easily transition into higher roles as the company grows. A lot of these openings at smaller companies have a lot less competition. Plus, with all the layoffs at big tech last year, those jobs are not as secure as people thought they were. In fact, three of my recent clients all got fantastic jobs abroad, where they're earning more, working less, and love the culture. All three of them were originally hoping to get jobs at global tech companies. All three of them had never even heard of the companies that hired them until their job search. If they never would have applied to those jobs because they were so focused on getting a big tech role, they might still be job searching now. So definitely don't settle for less than you deserve. Make sure whatever job you apply to will pay you what you're worth and provide the culture and work-life balance you're hoping for. However, don't be so focused on a specific few companies that you miss opportunities that are just as good. You would never want a company to reject you because you're from a different country or went to a school they don't know about. So don't reject a job just because it's from a company you're not familiar with. It could be a life-changing opportunity. My final point is to stay positive and don't give up. Job searches can be stressful. It can also be easy to start connecting your job search performance to your worth as a person. Not only is this terrible for your mental health, this increased stress can really affect the impression you make on people, and it could lead to you missing more opportunities that you're qualified for. I've met a lot of very successful people over the past two years. Almost all of them went through failures and hardship to get to where they are today. In fact, many successful people are just the ones that never gave up. Myself as an example, my business was failing for the entire first year. 
even after I joined a coaching program and learned a winning business strategy, I still failed on nine out of my first 10 sales calls. Now I'm not a millionaire, but I have a job I love. I have a beautiful apartment that I love living in and I'm getting to work with awesome people from all over the world. None of that would have happened if I gave up in 2020. So maybe you'll reach your success on attempt number six or 10 or 20, but you'll never know if you give up after attempt number one. However, that being said, if things aren't going how you hoped, if you're continuing to apply to jobs only to get a few interviews and zero offers, don't do the same things again and again. If what you're doing isn't working, you need to change your strategy. So if anything from this video has been helpful, you can click the link below to learn more about my full career accelerator program. In this program, we can work one-to-one -one together through every step of the job search to get you a life-changing international job in four months or less. This is the exact process that Koreans of all ages, industries, and English levels have used to get out of toxic work environments, earn more, move to new countries, and provide better lives for their whole families. I take this job seriously. I put a lot of time into each client and there's only a limited number of people I can work with. At the time of me recording this video, I only have space for three more people in my schedule and those spots will probably go fast. So don't miss this opportunity. Whatever challenges you're facing right now, you don't have to face them alone. Check out the program to learn more. Okay, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful and let's make 2023 the best year of your career.